Hi, Victor. Hi, Christian. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. It's great to talk to you again, and I appreciate uh, this additional time for our conversation. Uh, I thought we had a very positive conversation last time. You had mentioned that you really like GitLab, uh, mm -hmm. but that your official tool uh, is Atlassian. So I wanted yeah. to maybe uh, answer some of the questions that you had regarding what that means, thinking about GitLab for the organization. Yeah. You know, you and I, our conversation was really good. and I got really excited and jazzed up about GitLab again. You know, I, as you know, I'm a, a big user and believer of what you guys have as a company and, and uh, GitLab itself. I just, you know, it's hard for me to bring in when we already have Atlassian as our standard. Um, you know, in, in, in that sense, what do you have to help me show that your tool is better that I can take in and, and have those conversations with my management? I definitely uh, recognize and understand the concern, particularly when you have that corporate standard. Mm -hmm. uh, for what it's worth, and, and you may know this already, but GitLab integrates strongly with Atlassian tool sets. We know that you may be using as an organization uh, the Atlassian stack for a number of years with existing data and business processes. And we want to make it seamless to work with, with GitLab. Uh, so as an example, uh, one of our integration points is that to integrate with Jira issues, uh, to describe that feature in a little bit of detail, uh, that integration allows you to integrate a single repository in GitLab with all the Jira projects in a single Jira instance. What that means for you is that as your developers are working in that repository, those commits going into that uh, GitLab project are going to have links referencing back the Jira issues. So from a project management perspective in JIRA, you have full visibility into the work that is being done by the development teams uh, within your JIRA issue, linking back to the, the GitLab project. That's awesome. So, you know, I came to you around being more of a, a code repository and a CM tool, because we do have uh, some issues around and, and I would love to know more, but knowing that you integrate with JIRA and it sounds like a very strong integration, that's fantastic. If we aren't ready to go all in, is is that going to be an issue? Can we start small, or wh what would be your suggestions on how we, what the process is, and how we get started? Certainly, certainly, uh, start small, uh, and that integration that I mentioned is uh, is a starting step. Once again, with everything that you have already invested in Jira, you don't have to go all in, and we make we aim to make it easier. The the Jira issues is one of those examples where we provide you not only that integration to the board, I mean to the to the issues themselves, but as you progress into uh, taking your team further into using a single platform, uh, you're going to find features like, for example, the uh, issue boards uh, in GitLab that are analogous and uh, quite flexible, perhaps even more so than in Atlassian, where you are able to configure the workflows for your individual teams working in that repository, whether it's a single team with a single process or a number of teams using different processes, each within that same project. Uh, our implementation services team is also ready to assist, uh, understanding that there are workflows, there are practices that the teams are, uh, are used to. In, in your case, our implementation services team are there to not only help you with, say, a configuration of that integration, that repository, but also ensuring best practices and enabling the teams to work seamlessly within the two tool sets. That'd be great, because my concern is, you know, if, we, if, we're, if I'm able to get the green light and bring you guys in, you know, that it's it's going to be looked upon as just another tool set and it's going to be quite honestly disruptive. So, you know, whether the process installed tools and features is something that I can sell into my organization, it's just, you know, I'm not sure. Will, will it be a disruptive situation? It's, it's obviously uh, a good point to bring up as well, uh, that, that disruption. Uh, and to that end, we also aim to make it complex. Uh, you mentioned starting slowly first. Implementation services can help you get started there. Uh, in the end, though, thinking about Atlassian or thinking about GitLab, rather, as, as another tool, uh, I would also like to ask your team members, your, your, your development groups, how would they feel about maybe bringing in a tool set that enables the transition to a single platform uh, that is already fully integrated versus having to maintain different systems, different configurations, different upgrades for all the different parts of that system. And GitLab provides you that single installation, single upgrade, plus the services to help your teams get up to speed quickly. That'd be great. And would we still get to use you as our SA or um, will I be working directly with the implementation specialist or is there a team? 
I'm always available to you as, as the essay, but we do have, uh, as I mentioned, that implementation team. As a matter of fact, they're peers of my immediate customer success group. So we work close, uh, close together, hand in hand. They know uh, our initial conversations, they know any practices or initial uh, uh, advice we've provided to you, and they will run with that and also expand upon that knowledge and expand upon that uh, best practices. Great. Well, thanks, Victor. I appreciate you taking time to answer some of my concerns and, and provide even more great information that I can take back with to my management. I would love for next step to be that you and maybe your sales team can have a conversation. I can set up a meeting with my management and some of the development teams to get a little bit more and um, ask more questions if possible. But I think this is a great start. I will facilitate that. And until our next uh, touch point, if you have any more questions or concerns, uh, please let me know. I'll be happy to, to assist. Awesome. Thanks, Victor. Thanks, Kristen. Bye-bye. Bye.